This is a uh, not a family friendly Twitch channel. This is this is where we come to become unhinged. Hello, party people. This vod edit was from a stream that I recently did for audio testing purposes. As I'm about to talk about during what I call the wind-up, or the pre-stream, I recently got a new mic stand as my old one was falling apart. Since transferring my mic to it, I feel like there's been some issues with the quality where it'll suddenly cut out a little bit or get distorted or muffled. Uh, I haven't been able to find a fix for it, and I worry that it might be an actual hardware issue or that I may have damaged my mic while setting it up on the new stand. This is a huge no-no because, as some of you guys may have noticed, I'm extremely neurotic about my audio, and I've been really hesitant to record anything for the channel because of it. I have this complex with content quality, especially with my audio, where I feel like if it isn't the best quality I'm capable of putting out, then it's just flat out unacceptable. So if you're watching this, please, please, please do me a huge favor and let me know in the comments if the audio is okay, or if you have any suggestions on how to improve or fix it. Also, if you have any suggestions for new mics in the event that I need to get a new one, which hopefully won't be the case. As a side note, I have noticed this distortion issue happening particularly at the ends of my sentences, um, probably because of the way my voice just is as a result of my chronic illnesses, which includes some pretty gnarly GERD and erosive esophagitis. Uh, the ends of my sentences tend to taper off and become really raspy, which is why I have so much trouble with noise gates. It's also worth noting that none of the stream audio was edited in Audacity after the fact like I normally do for YouTube uploads, um, and it only has a very weak noise gate and noise suppression applied to it in Streamlabs. This intro audio was done entirely in Audacity with minimal noise reduction and no noise gate, just some normalization and compression. That's all. Sorry for the long intro. I hope you enjoyed the video. <coughs> I'm good. Um, I need to be studying, so this will just be a quick little stream. Let me know if my audio is doing that funny thing where it just decides to like get really muffled and silent. I'm gonna review this footage after it's done, but that's the main reason we've been doing this stream. It's because I got a new mic stand and ever since I put my mic on it, I think I might've broken it. <laughs> so it really is gonna be figuring out if I need to um, get a new mic or not, or if I can salvage this. I did notice that I'm peaking quite a bit but I don't know if I need to put a limiter on or lower my gain or what, but you guys let me know. Or if it sounds fine and would be passable for my YouTube stuff. Because I can't record anymore until I know that my audio is fine. But I also have to trust in the opinions of my audience because um, I'm so neurotic with my audio that <laughs> I, can't, I can't trust myself. I know I'll send audio snippets to people and they'll be like, this sounds completely fine. I'm like, no, you don't sound how horrible it is. What do you mean? I also um, <clears throat> have a new mouse, uh, kind of a new setup because I got a mat for, um, yeah, save lives in quotation marks. Um, I got a new mouse and a mouse pad mat. Uh, so I'm sorry if you can like hear it click clicking and stuff. My keyboard's in a kind of different spot too. Everything's just kind of different and I'm dying. Also my acid reflux is uh, not great today, so I'm a little more smoker's long sounding. We're gonna start small. This game has horrendous loading time, so if my PC explodes in the middle of it loading, that's why. <coughs> Sorry, acid reflux cough. Is it still loading? Okay, I think it's still loading. The smoker cough is hitting. I know my combination of, um, erosive esophagitis and smoking is... I don't smoke cigarettes anymore, so that isn't as bad, but <laughs> it doesn't do well for my uh, esophagus. All right, any moment now. The loading is very long in this game. Even when I was playing it like off stream, the initial load times were super long. So I don't think this is abnormal, maybe a little bit, but my PC temps are decent. So, and I'm still live, <laughs> which is what matters. And the loading bar is moving. Last time, one of the times I tried to load in, the loading bar stopped, like the dots stopped moving completely and then it crashed and froze my PC and I was like, oh, very well. We live from the loading screen. Alrighty, so first things first, we have to open an emergency clinic. Stop chewing on my wires. This is like the most time consuming part is the building. It got to the point where I stopped building things on my own and just started using like the pre-built templates. Stop chewing on my wires. Such a menace. Bingo, yeah, bingo, bingo, be being bumpus and 
<laughs> Boom, will be bungling. This looks like an off-brand Sims simulator. Yeah, except this is more focused on killing people than Sims is, if that's even possible. But it does remind me of the Sims in that. So the first time one of my patients died, <laughs> they, they like collapsed on the floor and then suddenly it started playing this like really, really eerie <laughs> music. It was like the, the burglar in Sims 1. I was like literally having flashbacks. This is why I turned on free building. The reason I turned on free building is because if I didn't, we'd already be in debt. That was my big mistake when I first played my game is I wasn't paying really a lot of attention to like how much things costed. So I built my big old hospital and I was like, it looks great. And then I looked down and I was like $200,000 in debt. And I was like, shit, how am I? I had to take out a bunch of loans. And then it just, one of my biggest issues was that the moment somebody started dying, I dropped everything and built an ICU like on the spot. And I went so much, so far into debt. And it got to the point that I couldn't build things anymore because I couldn't take out more loans. <laughs> so first things first, we need, for our emergency room, we need a waiting room and at least one doctor's office. And then we also need a receptionist and a cleaning closet. I guess we could put restrooms. They can just go outside if they really need to. What floor do you guys want? The basic tiling. What basic tiling do we want for the building? The ugliest one. Huh. Make it green. That's ugly. How's that? How's that? Is that ugly enough for you? <laughs> I like it. Excellent. I like it as in I hate it. It looks like my grandma's tablecloth. <laughs> you walk into a hospital with like your arm hanging up your body and you're like, God, this is so reminiscent of my grandma's tablecloth. Oh, <laughs> oh it's horrible. <laughs> you come into the ER and suddenly you need extra procedures for like burnt retinas. Sorry, we had to take the entire eyeball out. Shaking profusely. It's not ugly enough. <laughs> There we go. I think that's pretty ugly, do you say? It's gonna make all the patients aggressive. That's actually a, one of the character like perks or traits or whatever for some of the patients is that they're aggressive and they interrupt procedures. I had a guy that had like a like a splenic lesion or a splenic laceration. He was like bleeding out and needed like emergency surgery and he just kept fighting the doctors and then he died and I was like, I don't know what you expected. I just want my patients to be like as aesthetically uncomfortable as possible. Are you really going to think about your broken arm if looking at your surroundings makes you vomit? It's kind of like how certain places and rooms will use certain colors to evoke specific emotions, like blue means calm or whatever. We just make everything as ugly as possible to distract them from their pain and illness. <laughs> Alright, so now we have our bases. Now what we're going to do is we're going to make a bathroom, but um, we're going to put it here instead. Should we put it on this side or this side? The furthest, we need to make them... We need to make them work for it. Toilet is not a basic need, it's a luxury. <laughs> I keep forgetting that it's meant to be ugly. I promise we'll actually play the game soon. But you know what we will do? We'll give him a little bench. Okay, well then we'll give him a trash can for fun. For funsies. Can only be placed indoors, die. What can I put there to make them happy? We'll put a pumpkin. There you go. They can sit on the bench and think about their choice of going to the specific hospital. Yeah, basically. Um, back to building our bathroom. We'll make it look like an outhouse. We need to make it the ugly... What color should it be? Why don't we make it brown? This is gonna be a brown bathroom. <laughs> oh my god. It's horrible. Why is the bathroom outside? Because I don't want to waste space. A huge issue that I was having with my other hospital is I was like constantly running out of space. Yeah, it's an, it's a, uh, it's an art project. For sure. <laughs> this hospital is a social experiment. <laughs> yeah. So now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna line up a bunch of toilets and then sinks and then hand dryers. Look at that, toilet circle. <laughs> no privacy whatsoever. Why don't we put like a house plant in there to make them happy? Bad for seriously like the ones in my dream. The only thing missing is glass walls. I'm sure you won't get ugly environment this time. <laughs> this is giving cold vibes. <laughs> you stare at the skull while you poop. It's the rules. Okay, so now we need a waiting room. Oh my god, that hurts my eyes. <laughs> my god, I can't see. This fucking floors, man. <laughs> my god. Oh god. Don't let me go close my door real quick. 
I'm about to come in there and ask for a large number nine combo. <laughs> I just closed the door, now the cat wants to come back in. Hold on. Now, to make them happier, what I can do is stop screaming. What other decorations can I give you? Always watching. Um... I'm actually gonna seal this in too. I want them to feel claustrophobic at all times. I think that open hospitals, like with open layouts are very nice, but I want them to feel threatened. I want them to walk in and just be like surrounded by small rooms at all times. Give them bitches some buckets. Bitches love buckets. So how big do these have to be? They only have to be four by four. So why don't we cram as many of these as we can in here? Oh, it's so ugly. I love it. This is hateful. This entire hospital is a nightmare. Let's do a massive HIPAA violation and just, um... Perfect. What do we think? I don't know if we're gonna be able to fit everything in here, but it's fine. Country girls make do. Our hospital's complete, guys. Oh no, I need to do a common room. God damn it. That's a nice common room. It's like the only nice room in this entire building. Let's grab this person. Hospital now accepts patients. Alrighty. We did it. We're about to start hemorrhaging money. But that's fine. Our first patient. Unfortunately, I don't have like a surgical unit yet, so I can't just like admit them and like take out their right lung for no reason. That actually happened to me when I was there. So it's something with the surgical team. Sometimes they just like don't do surgeries. So they'll just sit in the break room and dink around while somebody's like hemorrhaging out and dying. So I started like clicking random diagnoses to try and like get this person to surgery and finally she went and she had an unnecessary surgery and I got sued. <laughs> it was great. Now I could just have these guys run on auto and do their own thing, but I also don't trust them to do that. So I pretty much always like do the diagnosing myself and choosing treatment. And then I, I just, I, I can't, like I don't trust them to not kill people. I'm the doctor. Throw some some Zoloft at you. No questions asked. Oh, please don't have appendicitis. Oh, thank God. That would have been unfortunate. This person would have appendicitis and I'd be like, well, sorry, you have to go home. But I'm a surgeon. I feel like things are going a little bit too well. You know, like there's like not enough death and dying happening. Not enough chaos. It's the worst thing that you can happen or you can do. Honestly, it's a good question. That's a good question because I... I feel like I've done a lot of bad things. Probably purposely let a patient die. I think that's the worst thing I've done. You get really jaded. Like you really get into the whole mindset of like profiting that you start to forget about like to actually taking care of people and seeing them as people. It's a little frightening actually. Like when things start getting really chaotic, I literally just started sending people home because I was like, look, you need the exact same surgery as this person, which means that you're gonna have to be admitted, but you're not paying me any money. And this person is, so I'm sending you home. Sorry. Uh, it's a little concerning how quickly it devolves into that. This looks nearly identical to my first hospital. I mean, not quite, but like, it's pretty similar actually. <laughs> oh my god, okay. Even more money, thank you. It's kind of shocking um, how much thought goes into this game. That's why I'm kind of worried that it's going to be like a boring thing to stream. I think it's good background noise, but like, I feel like it be not fun to watch but you know i'm here to have fun so you know everything being glass is so disgusting i love it the fingerprints <laughs> oh it's awful i wonder if i can make the common room smaller and put the trauma bay in this area why can't i move this oh it's because somebody's using it move <laughs> you need to make a trauma bay i need this person to move go back to work I need to move the couch. Don't you dare sit down. Oh my god. I hate this floor so much. Oh my god. Oh, you're fine. You only have laryngitis. Don't be a little bitch about it. Sorry, that was mean. I shouldn't have said that. Where are all my patients? There's my first victim of the day. Oh shit, I need reception. Don't I? There we go. Okay, it's fine. Don't worry about it. What are you doing, friend? That's fine. You do you. All right, I need somebody to collapse already. I need some excitement in my life. Why do they all have basic white people names? That's a good question. I did actually notice that, the lack of variety. The waiting room is quite far away from um, that reception, so 
Maybe that was a bad design choice on my part because that guy has to walk quite a distance. They're gonna have like a ruptured gallbladder and they're gonna have to walk all the way from here to here. Well, I hope they don't have a ruptured gallbladder because I don't have surgery. <laughs> I'm going to send you home. Thomas Davis is one of the whitest names I've ever seen. <laughs> it's like John Smith. Those are the names that call center scammers use. <laughs> Hello, I'm Thomas Davis from Microsoft. I'm a level 9 technician and I will give you your refund. Just log into your bank. Make sure you include the four digits on the back of the card. That one only brought in 300, but you know what? It's profit. And when it comes to being a hospital, all that matters is profit. I can make... <laughs> I can make two restrooms? Bro, dope. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's make another ugly restroom. It's gonna look exactly like the other one. I'm gonna have to, um... Put an elevator in the restrooms. Can you build a restroom even further away? Unfortunately, I can't because I only have so much space. <laughs> it would if I could though. Oops. I can make a different color. No, I can't. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. This is a crime. <laughs> no, it's not. It's a bathroom elevator. <laughs> oh my god, the elevator doesn't even look like it's sealed in now. <laughs> Can you do a toilet viewing platform? I can- I can make- I can make the, uh, some of the walls glass, yeah? I can do that. It'll depend though because I'll have to see what it's like when I put my toilets down. Is this technically outdoors now? No, it is not. Well, these people are just gonna fall to their deaths then. That's fine. It doesn't really matter that much. <laughs> How's that? <laughs> yeah, they'll probably fall to their deaths, but you know, it's fine. Don't worry about it. That looks so bad. <laughs> you can like literally see the, the elevator innards. There we go. There's our bathroom. <laughs> Thanks for this monstrosity. You're welcome. The toilet is gonna get- toilet tower is gonna get you some extra income as a tourist attraction. I love the toilet tower so much. I don't know if this will be feasible because there are some objects that have to be wall mounted. I think we should make this just completely open, no privacy whatsoever. You know what? Making a nightmare hospital is far more fun than I thought it would be. This is disgusting. Oh no. You know what we could put here? <laughs> Always watching. There's a guy in the lobby or so there's a guy somewhere. This guy. Why? No, you don't need speech listening. This is why I don't let them do their own thing. He doesn't need speech listening. He has hypothyroidism. Everything confirms it. Just give him his meds and send him home. Oh god. So I, I do want everything to be open. Well, that is so cluttered. Oof. Alright, so with that out of the way, let's go in and take all these walls down. Hippa, I barely know her. There's so much stuff in that operating room. I really don't think that they need all of that. And then we're gonna move all this stuff around um, because to be honest, I don't think they need a sofa to survive. So, um, do, 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 Oh my God, the door is leading outside. I didn't even realize that. Y'all don't need any of this. You don't need a sofa. You don't need that. You don't need any plants. I don't care if it's uncomfortable. Now that's a good looking, uh, good looking med surge unit if I do say so myself. Get rid of this. Get rid of the clock. Get rid of that. Anything that's on the wall needs to go. This feels like a, like a human rights violation if I'm honest with you. All right, so what do we not need? Oh my God, we have room for a skull. Perfect. Don't need this. Don't need any of that. Don't need 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 that. You could put lots of stuff on the... Maybe try and bring up the, uh, the ugly factor. Or I guess bring down the ugly factor rather, but you know. <laughs> Just like getting rid of everything. It's like if it's not a necessity, we're getting rid of it. Actually, we'll keep all this because I really- I just can't be bothered with it. Oh, well, I didn't mean to get rid of that, actually. Well, that's fine. Oh, this is definitely a human rights violation, like, for sure. There's no way it's not. But that's okay. 
Because as long as we're making a profit, you know what I mean? I just got an achievement for that. What did I get? Very nice, absolutely beautiful, place for 100 decorations. I would argue that that's not true, but okay. And skull. Perfect. Whoa. Whoa. What happened here? I don't like that to fix that. <laughs> Odd. My insanity is coming back to bite me as I accidentally like clip a room outside of the map. Do not need this, 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 this. This or this. It's quite cramped, hey? Oh, that feeling when you accidentally like delete a giant chunk of your building. There we go. It's fine. Fixed it. This has like gotten very out of hand very quickly. Looks great. Now we just need to hire people. Whoa, 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 whoa. Dismiss that person. We don't actually need you. Get away from me. Nice. Yikes. I need people to start getting hospitalized. Now that I like spent all that money on people on hospitalization, I need people to actually come in and like get hospitalized. But I also think I'm gonna call it a day here. Anywho, thank you for coming to watch a test stream. Cannot wait to rewatch this VOD and see how awful the audio is, but hopefully it'll be okay and I want to get a new mic. Um, I've been ignoring it while playing or trying to, so um, we'll see. You guys said it was bearable, so hopefully it will be. Anyways, take it easy and I hope you have a lovely day-night cycle.